This is a Revit structural floor family, made with wooden top core joists. You can download this family for free at offsitewood.org or by following the link in the video description. Now let's explore the features that make this family special and unique. First, the family includes all the beams and joists as nested structural elements. It means each element is a nested shared family and is also part of the Revit database for scheduling and tacking. But dimensions of the elements are automatically controlled by the constraints of the entire system. You can adjust the dimensions of the family in the instance properties. Or you can drag the blue arrows in a 3D view. The maximum length and depth of the system is limited to 27 feet. If you enter a value beyond that, the actual value will still be 27 feet. There are also minimum values. The depth of the system cannot go below 4 feet and the length cannot go below 8 feet. You can choose between wood and steel beams for each side. Use the drop down selector menu for these parameters. The width and height of the beams are automatically adjusted based on your choice. If you are using the wood beam option, you can select the preferred beam width. Choose between three possible dimensions in the drop down selector. If the steel option is selected, the width value is ignored and the steel beam dimensions are automatically calculated based on constraints. It is possible that some beam width options don't work from a structural point of view. In this example, the selected beam width is too small for the system dimensions and a 3D text warning appears. There's the checkbox parameter to activate the double span option for each side of the system. That means another structural system is meant to be placed next to it and the beam supports another set of joists. You can see that the geometry and the beam's dimensions automatically adapt when this box is activated. You can activate the visibility of the beams on each side. This is especially helpful if you have a double span system and you don't want beams to be duplicated. Then you can adjust the position of the systems to be next to one another. The depth of the joist is automatically calculated based on their length. However, you can decide to set an override. Let's say you have two systems next to one another and you want both of them to have the same joist depth. Simply pick a value in the joist depth override parameter. However, this only has an effect if the override would make the joist deeper than it would be with the structural calculations. In other words, you cannot go below the minimum requirements. This family allows easy scheduling of all structural elements. First, make sure to set a floor mark value for each family. Then, create the structural framing schedule. You can see all elements along with their length, width, depth, and count. They are grouped by the floor mark value you have just assigned. Of course, the schedule is automatically updated if you modify the dimensions of the system. Although we've made this family so it's easy and intuitive for the end users, there's a lot of complexity embedded under the hood. We've used lookup tables to automatically find the height and width of the beams based on all the users defined dimensions of the family. This is a CSV file embedded in the family with values provided by an engineer. There are more than 300 dimension possibilities for the beams. Although you don't have to worry about this since all calculations are made for you and you just need to modify the dimensions and family options. Even though this family proposed dimensions, this is only for preliminary sizing. Make sure to verify all dimensions and calculations with your structural engineer. Again, this family is entirely free. Go to offsitewood.org to get a full download. Don't hesitate to share feedback.